What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of network or connection issue or error you're currently having with GTFO. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to hit your Windows and your R key at the same time. This tab will pop up, I want you to type in what I already typed in, so CMD. You're gonna hit enter or OK. This tab will pop up and I want you to type in what I'm gonna type in, so ipconfig space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, as you can see, you should be able to end this task again. Navigate to the bottom left corner, click into the window symbol, open up your settings, hit network and internet. And now I want you to click into network and sharing center, so into this one. And as you can see, there is this uh, tab called troubleshoot problems, you're gonna click on that, so the blueprint text, and it will, uh, you're gonna use your windows in order to find any kind of issue you currently have. Afterwards, hit change adapter settings to the top left corner, the second link. You're gonna stick to the spot where it either says internet or ethernet, it just depends on which one you're currently using. So you're gonna right click it, disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds, enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to have this problem fixed. So um, you're gonna wait a little bit until it's fixed. So, um, now you can close these tabs and this should be it. Yeah guys, this is it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, have a nice day. See you at the next one and bye.